Jord Scott is it's a made up word. Uh, it, it, the word Jord means earth, and Scott means no. Oh, Scott means shot. So it's earth shot. I guess you could uh, translate it or uh, soil sprout is another word for it. There, there's different uh, translations. But uh, there is a natural phenomenon, sort of. Uh, it, that's not really what we base it on. In the series, it means something. In the seventh episode, you'll know what it means. Uh, but it sort of is the nature's own power of growth. So it has to do a lot of with, with uh, the, the nature. And, you know, the powers are in there. It's a series that kind of starts off like... A like a criminal story with children disappearing and then later on it kind of becomes something else and that has to do with the mythology of nature and like the uh, folk tales of the north so it's it's kind of a, a mystery like a series as well combined with a, a criminal story. I'm playing Eva Törnblad who's the main character and actually when uh, the show starts um, her child has been gone for seven years and everybody is saying to her that her child has drowned and she doesn't really believe that so uh, it's a character that's try kind of like um, wants closure she wants to know what really happened to her child and, um, and after seven years there's another child that's gone missing from her same sort of upbringing you know her home village so she goes back to kind of find out, you know, both what happened to this new child that's gone missing, but also what happened to her child that gone missing seven years ago. So they kind of intersect those two kind of missions for her. And she works as a negotiator for the police. So she's a policewoman also. We were looking for this person who could be, have many depth uh, of, in, in a character. Uh, we wanted to sort of have a person that could have the, the grief, uh, going through a griefing process, but also at the same time be a strong policewoman that, that you know, her char character is. And she's a very friendly person, so it's, it's great to have someone uh, that you like, that you can hang out with, with because, you know, it's, it's a long shooting process. So after the meeting and the screen screenings, we're like, yeah, this is the one. She, this is Eva. And it turned out great. She, she's a great actress and, and having her here, you know, hanging out with her, doing these press shoots, uh, it's, it's great. She's, she's a lot of great fun and she's a very smart lady as well. <laughs> I read a lot. I think I love reading books, you know, just as a person, but uh, really reading about this kind of subject. And for Eva, I studied uh, the grieving process and I read a lot of books with parents who has lost their children and I met with um, a parent who has ad actually lost a child and doesn't know what happened to it. Um, so that was really heavy and also knowing that people go through these emotions for real so we need to, I need to play Eva with respect to that uh, so it doesn't become something like cliche or um, and also that when you're grieving, you kind of, you're really in that zone and, and being kind of like, uh, um, you're not really taking in your environment and the people around you because you're so caught up in this, in this emotion. And Eva can sometimes like turn off other people as well and have her goal and be kind of like, um, not really empathic always. And I think that's interesting to play a character who isn't, you know, black or white, she's like in between and she can go from like kind of a being light and positive and being very more in the dark side as well. And, and she makes some questionable choices in the series as well. Um, so I loved playing a complex character like that.